good morning listeners welcome back to almas market mornings and rather it should uh, i should be saying it's good to be back with the financial markets now folks yesterday was quite an interesting day we broke below the tds levels of 8190 and 8180 but for a very brief while and only for usd ana to be back again in the range friday saw some significant fii flows coming in the indian markets and why shouldn't it be i mean the indian stock markets have been one of the best performing markets in the world in the usd terms but on the flip side the pmi numbers released for indian economy were on the softer side and similar was the case with lower pmi for germany which was at a three year low signaling that the manufacturing uh, companies are making deeper cuts to output with a decline in the order book even the us economy posted weaker pmis and on the other side we are also expecting the australian central bank announcing their rate decision today so jk there's a lot many things to watch out for i'd like what is your take you know to understand what's going on yeah i uh, think it was actually a very quiet overnight uh, pre holiday trading in the overseas market but uh, definitely asian time particularly the indian time was uh, much better where uh, the duel between the market forces and uh, authorities have continued uh, we did have uh, the second half of the year start with a very large flow and uh, was sold down uh, with the central bank keeping away for some time even the supports at 8190 8185 8180 even 8180 was uh, broken but then we saw uh, not only the central bank or rather the oil companies buying but also other importers joining in uh, on the dip to you know hedge themselves and uh, uh, we once again had a close above 8190 uh which we have not uh, broken on a closing basis for uh, uh, more than a month so uh, it, technically it is still in the range uh, market uh, flows and uh, selling pressure will continue but it it does appear that the central bank is holding steadfast on its policy of uh, avoiding uh, runaway rupee strength and uh, uh, this will be the uh, this likely this is likely to be the feature in the coming days as well unless we see or uh, something uh, big happening on the global markets or on the dollar index uh, uh, yes the, the dollar itself overnight was very quiet except uh, some moments seen in the chinese won where once again the authorities have fixed the um, you know daily fixing at a much lower level uh, there is, there was some little bit of reaction uh, to that uh, uh, from yuan which uh, traded at uh, 7.22 but then uh, the dollar has since then uh, bounced back Uh, observing that the market forces are not getting the message of uh, the authorities so they have actually been uh, reports that they might consider uh, you know taking further measures like reimposing reserves on fx powered sales or increasing the fx deposit reserve requirements uh, and these things have you know uh, eventually worked even you know combined with the other measures that they have been taking including lower fixing and fx sales but the euro and the gbp and even yen they were all in very familiar range with uh, limited players in the market uh, because of the june 14 independence day holiday and we should be expecting uh, full action only uh, from uh, the wednesday on but when we'll also have a lot of other data to consume like the fomc minutes and uh, uh and also uh, the ism services where we will i think services is a very important uh, area to observe uh, because the economies have hold have been holding up with services activity uh, being in a expansion territory uh, so manufacturing is in, in any way as you said in contraction in most of the economies uh, uh, though india uh, manufacturing pmi did slip a bit but it is well into the expansion territory and it does stand out uh, compared to all other uh, economies so uh, nothing to worry there as far as indian uh, economic activity is concerned but the other countries really i look forward to how the services side uh, comes about uh, you know, yesterday uh, sorry uh, in tomorrow's uh, data uh, also uh, even for the low uh, ism you know i some manufacturing pma that came including a much lower prices paid component ideally should have you know pushed the dollar higher and also the yield slower but that was not to be actually two year yield made a new high in this uh, phase of uh, 2.96 sorry uh, 4.96 and uh, ended at 4.94 
uh, tenure did not move that much, but uh, the big uh, news is that the two year over tenure yield curve is at its steepest level at 110. And this is the level that was seen in 1981. Um, yes, we have been observing this uh, steepening curve for several months now and surmising that this is indication of recession, but so far the data has not confirmed or rather uh, markets have not perceived the economy to be in a very uh, big slump or anything. Uh, that's the way stocks are reflecting, uh, you know, uh, recovering, uh, you know, almost most of the losses of the last six months. And then uh, also the yields are uh, still going up. They are not showing any uh, relenting. A uh, dollar is not even showing any major weakness. Uh, uh, Euro, of course, is uh, you know softer because uh, uh, continuous stream of uh, weak data from the eurozone, particularly the largest economy in Germany. So I think people are now once again expecting even the second quarter uh, to be a contraction for the uh, largest uh, economy. So all in all, we are uh, not seeing. Uh, while we are not seeing much of an action. Uh, overnight, excepting in the yields, uh, uh, I, I think uh, uh, we are in a stage where uh, we could probably see something uh, giving uh, giving away uh, because uh, we, 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 uh, many things are not gelling together. Uh, you know, economy is weakening, but yields going up, stock markets holding up, uh, even as liquidity is uh, uh, coming down. Uh, so all these things are really something that will uh, sort themselves out in the coming days, uh, uh, I feel. Uh, and of course, oil was again in the news. Saudi Arabia said it would extend its 1 million barrel per day cut in production by a month through August, and it could extend it even further. Uh, Russia also added that it would reduce its oil exports by 500,000 barrel uh, per day uh, in August, uh, you know, and aim to reduce production by this amount as well. Uh, these announcements had only a temporary impact on the oil prices before they fell back. Uh, the inability of oil prices to sustain recovery despite the cuts is really worrying. So are we headed for a much deeper recession in the days ahead? Is that what the market is telling us? Uh, something we'll wait and see. And of course, the nearest uh, uh, news would be uh, in the now's time, Australian Central Bank, uh, whose monetary policy has become a lot of focus because uh, they have been they had been raising, went into a pause, and again ro rose the rates uh, in the last month. So we'll see what they do today. Thank you. Okay, JK, that was quite good. And yes, folks, it's the 4th of July. So the US markets will be closed today. Uh, but on the other side, what we are observing is uh, something very interesting. The Indian refiners have started U1 payments for the Russian oil imports. Now, this was quite an interesting development that we have seen. Uh, apart from the announcement by Russia that they will be reducing the uh, oil supply in August. Now, as JK mentioned, there was a uh, little impact of this announcement, but uh, what we are also observing is the uh, US yield difference. Now, the 210 difference, as JK mentioned, is at its steepest level of 110 basis points. And the latest entrant on the yield uh, inversion can be the Australian economy with the 310 difference going as low as three basis points. Now, these are the points which are pointing towards, you know, con consistent uh, expectations of a slowdown in the coming days. And with a weak manufacturing, tightening liquidity and tougher credit situations, it all warrants that we can, you know, find out some sort of uh, reduced activity on the economic front. For the Asian uh, counterpart, Chinese Central Bank have been making uh, attempts to uh, cap the UN weakness with their uh, fixing and their activities in the uh, markets. But the Indian Central Bank has been holding steadfast on the currency actions. So it's only time uh, which can tell what's going to happen uh, with the currency, whether the Central Bank lets the currency strengthen further or not. Uh, we shall see. That's it for today, folks. We shall come back again tomorrow with another round of updates. Thank you so much for listening.